Hi, this is Matt Saturnus for Plugged In Golf, and in this video I'm going to review the new Callaway Big Bertha Alpha 815 Double Black Diamond Driver. Let's get plugged in. Now of all the new Big Bertha drivers that Callaway's released in 2014, the Double Black Diamond is the one that better players are going to play. And they've spared no expense on this club from lots of adjustability to shaft options to extreme low spin performance. At address, the double black diamond is the definition of a better player's driver. You're gonna see it's a more compact footprint, it's a taller face, and the crown is totally clean. There are no alignment aids. So this is exactly what better players are looking for uh, at address. In terms of sound, Callaway's kept this very middle of the road. It's a nice metallic crack medium pitch to it, just a medium volume, maybe a little bit quieter than the Big Bertha Alpha 815, uh, which again is what you'd expect from a better player's driver. And what I really noticed with this compared to the Alpha 815 is that this has a little bit more responsiveness. You get a little better feedback from it. So you're going to be able to locate your hits a little more precisely. Now when it comes to the performance of Callaway's Big Bertha Alpha drivers, you have to start with the gravity core. This is the most impactful, adjustable technology in golf today, period. Uh, this basically allows you to adjust the center of gravity up and down, which we haven't been able to do before. So you can, again, move that higher or lower depending on whether you put the core up or down. And that's going to have a big impact on spin rate. For me, it was about 200 RPMs. Uh, I think Callaway said it could be up to 300 RPMs depending on uh, where you hit the ball on the face. Uh, and it also changes the feel of this club completely. You're going to swing the club, flip the core, swing it again, and it'll feel like a totally different club. Everybody who's tried this, who I've seen, uh, definitely had a distinct preference for one or the other. Uh, what's interesting is that for me, last year I really preferred the core down position. I thought that was much better in terms of feel. I was able to make much better contact with it. This year, uh, I'm not sure what else has changed in here, but I actually preferred core up. I was able to really locate my hits much, much better. And even though the spin was slightly higher, my distance was better because my ball speed was higher. Now, beyond gravity core, uh, you've got adjustability in the hosel. There are eight positions to adjust loft, lie, and face angle. Uh, you've also got weights in the toe and heel, so you can move that center of gravity left and right a little bit to favor a draw or a fade. The last thing I want to mention about this is, I've said a couple times that this is a better player's driver in terms of look. And Callaway's marketing would lead you to believe this is a really unforgiving club. It's only for the best players. Now, while I wouldn't say that this is a driver that belongs in the hands of a 30 handicap or a 20 handicap, somebody who's in the teens, who's a good ball striker, can drive the ball a little bit, should not be afraid to give this a try. It is less forgiving than the Alpha 815, but it's not a night and day difference. So if you go and try the 815 and you really like it, Give this a try also, if you, especially if you like the way this looks, the way it sets up. Don't be afraid to try the Double Black Diamond. Uh, it's a really impressive driver, particularly for the way it looks and feels and the low spin you're going to get off of it. The forgiveness is surprisingly good. If you have any questions about the Callaway Big Bertha Alpha 815 Double Black Diamond driver, please post them down below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow Plugged In Golf on Twitter. Like us on Facebook and check out PluggedInGolf.com for more great golf content. This has been Matt Saturnus. Thanks for watching.